I think I might have found one of the coolest shells on the Sims 4 gallery. Look how freaking amazing this is! This is the most insane Sims 4 shell challenge I have ever seen. Basically how this works is we're gonna be taking this amazing shell and turning it into some sort of build without moving the walls. I'm not able to go in and like delete anything to make things easier for myself. I'm not able to like pull this out and adjust if I wanted to do that. Structure and the shape of this thing has to stay exactly how it is. This build challenge was found on the Sims 4 gallery using the hashtag TryMeSid. This is a hashtag that I started on the gallery where you can upload and find so many Sims 4 build challenges ranging from difficulty from easy to like extreme mode. We've been doing this for months. There's tons of them on here at this point. So if you want to find or upload your own, use hashtag TryMeSid. But the one we're doing today was created by Lily Longcat on the Sims 4 gallery. They have the rules in the description. You can see there's even an easy, medium, and a hard mode. So if you guys want to attempt this, insane talent. Of course, we're doing hard mode today, so don't touch my walls. You got it. So normally when I'm doing a shell challenge like this, I won't really know the style that I'm going for until the end. I'll kind of like play around with it, see what works and what doesn't, and then determine a style later. But for this one, with it being the freaking Mona Lisa, I have to do some sort of like artsy, maybe a little bit Renaissance influenced kind of thing. So I'm building in this library lot from Discovery University. I just found this and you can change it to a residential lot if you want to. I think it's cute with like the surround area so I was really excited when I found this lot especially for this since I am in the Discovery University world what if I turn this completely into like an art gallery a hangout spot I have a really hard time roofing things and dealing with builds that are only one story for some reason I feel like especially with this one it's very long and like when I was thinking of how to roof it I'm like am I literally just gonna like take this and freaking put it on top like what do I do but I think if I go around and trace the top with this base game fence and I realize it looks a little crazy right now but we're gonna fix it, I promise. It's gonna turn out good. I think from here, I'm gonna take a fence and go in and start to kind of build out a patio. I'm gonna try and make sure it like complements the shape of this shell. I don't wanna just bring it out and make it like boxy. So I'm using a lot of diagonal walls here, trying to make this look cute from the front. Maybe the back could have something like that. And then to make the front part a little bit more interesting, what I'm thinking we could do is I'm gonna go up here and I wanna try and find out where like this line, like going along this way ends. And I think I'm gonna try turn that ceiling part into like a pergola or some sort of like patio. So I'm gonna be using this illusion of fence from Strangerville. There's also another one similar to this in Get to Work, like the fence for window shopping, pretty much the exact same thing. <laughs> one's a little bit thinner, one's a little bit thicker. And I'm just gonna try and figure out where that wall ends. From where it ends, I'm going to be building out with my fence. <laughs> this looks so crazy right now, but once I delete the ceiling, you'll see what I mean. So I've done my best to follow along that line here. And now I'm just going in and deleting any of the flooring pieces in between my fence. It's gonna be a little bit awkward because I do have a couple wall pieces peeking through still, but I could cover that up with like plants or something. We'll figure it out. I also turned the outer wall into spandrel so that we could kind of have this overhang, which I think is gonna look so cool with our new patio. And I did take off the roof just so I could figure this out because I was getting so confused with like where it ended. So I think I'm done figuring out the general shape of this build. And now we're gonna go in and start adding the details. So I've got this roofing, which I think I like the metal a little bit better. I was thinking it would be cool to be all glass, but with all of the walls on the inside, this is gonna turn out better, I think. I'm picturing a brick along the bottom here. I love this one from Get Famous. I think I'm gonna put this one all along just the bottom, and then we'll keep the top with the white brick. And I think that one I'm using on the top for like the roof is from Cottage Living, but I kinda like that contrast, and especially since the background looks like that. And then for my doors, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Discover University filter on because I think I'm gonna be using quite a bit of that. I think this door is really pretty, but I think I'm gonna have multiple doors and like smaller ones, like varying size. So we could do like one here. If there's gonna be a lot of people like going in and out of this, especially with it being like a community lot, I think this will be the best way. And the inside I can already tell is gonna get really confusing once we do get there. So I'm just gonna try and prevent that while I can. <laughs> Actually, let's double check. I wanna make sure I'm not leading this into the middle of nowhere. This is going to be a literal maze. I have ideas though. I do know I have an idea, I have a plan. And then for the windows, I was just playing around with these ones. These are from base game and there's a whole bunch in base game that also have like a different style but in the same style you know <laughs> so I think I'm gonna play around just with these and maybe throw in like a couple Discover University ones somewhere I want one of them to be like open like maybe back here we could do like a full wall of these somehow and really give it light and then on the inside with that weird sort of maze layout that we're dealing with I'm hoping all these windows and doors are, are gonna help okay so I just did a little bit of landscaping and you can really tell this thing is starting to come together look at that this looks like a 
real community lot. Like it's just meant to be here and it's the freaking Mona Lisa. You can see in here, I kind of just went in with some vines and I made this little corner part work. I raised up some plants from Island Living on top so that it was covering up that weird like wall piece. And then in the back, I've noticed around the corner and stuff, there's like this style of landscaping where it's using hedges and like those cute little plants from base games. So I just did a little version of that on my own. And then over here, you know, in Discover University, they've got that little area where you can come and paint. I kind of just made my own on this lot. And I just had this other idea. City Living has this item. It's called the Street Gallery. And what you can do with this is have your Sim paint paintings. <laughs> you pull them into your inventory from the easel that they've painted it on. And then you can fill these up and sell them for more on like the street. So I think it would be really cool if we included this feature in this build, especially like I have this weird like alleyway. This could be like the street seller's alleyway in this very fancy expensive build that I'm doing. And there can be like political hierarchy where whoever gets the best spot on this corner gets more sales. But then there's this really crappy one. This is where you like start. As long as it doesn't get any weirder than that, this story actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> I feel like Sims would miss it because it's such a small entryway. I don't even know. I gotta see if a Sim can get down there. But yeah, that's gonna be where you go if you're just starting out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could literally have your Sim paint here all day and then go and do that. That's so fun. I'm also gonna add these. These are come and get it street stores also from City Living. And there's other items like this, like the ground floor entrepreneur's table where you, your Sims can come and like sell things they've made. I want this to be like a fully interactive lot where your Sims can come and just be artsy and make their money doing it. Okay, let's go inside. I think we're done with the outside of this thing. Let's figure this out here. So when I look at this, I immediately see bathroom stalls on this side. That looks to me like I could do some bathrooms in there somehow. So we'll keep that to there. I think that's her like hand. I think it would be really cool if we did like a coffee shop or a cafe because I feel like an area like this would have that. We could either do that front and center and then you like go and do your studies later or we could do maybe along the back and then it's close to this dining area so you could kind of go out there and eat and have your coffee and sit. Maybe we'll do it that way. And then this over here, you know when you're in a school situation like a university or whatever and you're in a study area and there's dividers kind of making it more quiet for you? I see that when I look at this room. Room. Like I could put this drafting desk here from Dream Home Decorator and I'll put one here, I'll put one here, one there. I mean, there's tons of areas for this to happen. I just want to lay it out like this is where you would go to do your actual like crafting. So maybe I'll also add in some woodworking tables and then you can come in and actually interact with these. <gasps> That's cute. You could do like your work here, your drafting there. Oh, we're going to make this room so cool. And then for the rest of it, like I think down these hallways, I would love to put up art. This can be the actual gallery area. Area. We're also gonna have a library here too, I think. So let's start off in this drafting room. If you guys have any ideas of other like woodworking things that you might wanna add to suit your sim, then by all means, this could be a really cool room for like candle making. I want this room to be full of supplies. You know those really fancy like Ikea rooms that show off those really organized like offices or drafting rooms or whatever that like I personally as a messy person could only dream of? That's what we're going for. Ooh, this is actually a good slot for art. I'm gonna put a couple of these in here. It's like you could store your art in here. I did some art classes in school before and this would have been so convenient. Just a little area to store your stuff. I really love making my builds look like they've been lived in. So I'm going to put some projects on these tables to make it look just like there's actual students here working on stuff. I don't know. I get super into it when I'm building. I just start picturing like this place literally just coming alive. I think also some storage boxes with like supplies could do well in this room. I was kind of picturing more so like those with like paint and stuff in them. I guess I could put some underneath this. Oh, wait, that doesn't quite fit under there, but I could totally get it under this. This is from Dream Home Decorator. It's got some swatches on there if someone's doing some like interior design. For the outside of this build, I know it's really traditional looking, but I wanted the inside to look like we're still gonna have those aspects, but it's really adapted to student life. I'm just getting a couple more projects on here. I'm adding some books, get some art up on the wall, and maybe I'll add like a chair or a stool. Artists have stools. <laughs> I used to have one of these. Oh my God, artists, if you're using one of these to sit on, stretch. 
get your back. Your, your back is gonna thank you. I do like how they look though. So I think I'm gonna add a couple maybe just like nearby. I'm gonna match my lighting to a more industrial feel with these ones from Cottage Living. And then the final thing I'm gonna do in here, I do have this extra area. So I'm just gonna turn this into another supplies area. Like I could even open this up. This is like her eye or something. And in here, I'm just gonna do some like plank shelves with some paint brushes or any clutter that I can find that looks good in here. I remember when I went to school for art, there were like these sitting around all the time. Like they would always make us draw like this thing, like that exact thing. I remember drawing this like six times. I'm gonna put multiple in here. <laughs> Maybe it was just my school, but like I have so many pictures of this. Okay, I think I'm done with this room. We're gonna move out of here because I'm, I'm adding everything I want in this build to this one room. But this is how our like drafting room turned out. I think it's super cute. I like all of the clutter in here. I think this would be my happy place, honestly. Okay, I need to show you the most randomly placed item ever. I always forget about it. It's in laundry day and it's this. And wouldn't you know it, one of those freaking bases is on there. But okay, this is a still country life object. It literally says <laughs> this carefully arranged selection of fruits, flowers, and branches really puts the still and still life. As in this is the same scene that you painted yesterday and it'll be unchanged tomorrow. I have literally painted exactly this. I'm gonna put this in the corner somewhere. I just find it so random that it comes with laundry day. I don't even think I'm gonna put easels around it. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, this is what we decorate with here. For this long hallway here, this is where I wanna put a lot of the art. So any of those super expensive, fancy paintings like these and this, all those ones that like, we're probably so sick of at this point. They're like the only really extra fancy pictures in this game. And two of them are the same picture. Did you guys know that? This one and this one are the same. I always found that kind of funny. I know that Mosquito has these really fancy end tables. They're under miscellaneous. And I think I could put sculptures on this. Oh my God, what should I call art? Should I put a toilet? I think I have to. Too. Oh God, this is gonna start a whole thing. Let's let the stupid objects on this thing commence. So in our Mona Lisa art gallery, we have a lovely arrangement of Sims 4 items that just are interesting. We have Baby Yoda. We have the future cube, which no one's really 100% why, what the purpose of this thing is or where it came from, but it'll tell you the future, but you can't touch it. This is an art gallery. Lovely toilet, the celestial helmet, evil bunny, and gnome hallway. Oh, I also put up this picture of these dogs because I love this painting and I never use it because I don't find it nice looking, but I do like it. And then around the corner, we have man with hat. Some students say the eyeballs move. There's, where, what? Okay. <laughs> Back it up. Next, I'm gonna do this area here. We're gonna do kind of like a library. I think most bookshelves are gonna be found here. Okay, I have fallen in love with base game bookshelves lately. Hear me out. There's this like collection of old crappy looking bookshelves, which probably don't look that great in like a modern build or like a family home. But like in this situation, I feel like you can literally smell those books and there's a matching desk. Is that weird to say? I don't really care. I like how books smell. Same thing. This one has so much detail on it. Look at that little coffee Ring. We can add a little chair. This can be like another work area. I'll probably put some books on here, adding to the clutter. We can even put some canvases around. I feel like they would just be everywhere. I'm also trying to add places to sit here too with like the academia vibe. I feel like you would have a bunch of communal areas where you would come and sit and hang out. Or if you were like me, just sit by yourself. We can add some fancy lighting in here, pull it together. And then in the next room over, I think I want this room to be a little bit more quiet. Like the quietest area where you would come and just study maybe. I want to put a fireplace. I just don't know where to put it. We'll put a nice fancy mirror on top. I think I want to do bookshelves along that back wall and then seating. Like I could do a couch there. That's from Discover University. And if we have a matching chair. Oh, we do. Perfect. I can put this over here. Maybe I'll do like two on this side. I could probably also find like a small desk or even a table back there. Or maybe we'll save these high tops for the cafe, which the cafe is going to go over here. Oh, I completely forgot about the paranormal pictures. I love those frames. Okay, we're going to put these up in here. I wish they had more. I could take endless amounts of these in this frame. We can name this room after him. What's his name again? Guidry. This is your room. The Guidry reading room. Potentially haunted. Cute. So this is our reading room, our more quiet area where you can come and just kind of chill, study. What should I set this as? An art center? Yeah, 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 yes. So to make this complete, I actually have some requirements that I have to add. We need an instrument. I think a violin would work in here. Let's get this really expensive one. I could put it over here 
actually. Which of you wants to go? Evil Buddy, I think it's you. We'll just put this on display. I mean, it's really expensive, so why not? It's 15,000 simoleons. An activity? This is not a place for kids. This is a student venue, but fine. I'll put one in the corner. <laughs> I'll put one in that room right there. I need a mural, which is cool. I could do one like right outside this garden here. I wish it wasn't as noticeable, but your Sims can interact with this if you have city living and you can paint a little like floor mural. It's really cute. Or maybe I'll put one right here, like right in the middle if you want to do one. Actually, even better right here. Okay, I'm done. There we go. Final resting place. And the rest I'll finish off with the cafe and the bathroom. So we're good to upload this as an art center. I know Discover University has one that I'm picturing. I think I want to use that. Oh yes, this. This, the Bon Appetit cafeteria. I hope this counts as a bar. It doesn't. Sims want you to get crazy at this art center. This one counts as a bar though. This is from Get Together. I wish that other one did because I feel like that's kind of what it's supposed to be. But we've got the bar. I need some bar stools. I don't have a TV in here. So I feel like I should maybe put one up so that people could watch it. And then right behind here, we'll put a little couch. I think it would be really pretty if we did a white brick wall over there. Maybe like someone painted the brick on the outside. And that's going to be our cafe. Look how cute it is. And I just added some hanging lights to get that warm tone as well. Cute. Okay, so we are going to move into the bathroom. I also have another room hidden over here, which I didn't realize. But for this, I'm just going to be putting more easels inside because I don't have any. They're all outside. So if your sims are painting here and it's thunderstorming, it might be a problem. So we'll just put a few in here. It'd be really fun to make like a group in the sims and bring them all here to paint. Like an outing, like a friend outing or something. The gameplay in here is great. I haven't done a community a lot in a while and you guys have been asking me to do one for quite some time so I hope you enjoyed this. There, that's cool. Nothing too crazy. Maybe I'll actually put the still life in here just to add a little bit extra to this room. We got our super cute pride picture going on in here. I love this. And finally, I have to figure out these awful bathrooms. I saw this immediately as a bathroom stall space. So I haven't added any walls at all to this build, like at all inside and outside. But we're gonna add these right here and then I can put doors on them. This will be where the toilets go. I'm gonna just quarter these off so that they can sit flat against the wall. Grab your toilet paper. I'm noticing they don't have windows, which is fine. I mean, they're bathroom stalls, but I'm gonna actually delete the wall that I just put here and turn it into a half wall so that behind it, we can still have that window. And then, yeah, I think that looks okay. We can get some sinks going here. Trash cans, all the stuff you need for a public washroom. Get to work has like hand sanitizer and stuff along with paper and towel and everything, which I feel like kind of should have been in base game. Also from get to work, I'm adding exit signs above the doors for a little bit more realism. Them. There we go. And I do have these like weird walls here from her fingers. So I think I'm gonna finish it off. I'm gonna find a really weird item to put in there and we're just gonna call it art. This little one, the Astro Bunny is gonna be pointing towards the washroom in case you're lost because it's probably pretty easy to get lost in this um, maze. So this is how our Mona Lisa shell challenge turned out. Like why, why did we do this? But I feel like it's so cool as a whole too. Like the shell is Mona Lisa. It's a freaking art museum slash community art center. I I don't know. I'm obsessed with this. If you guys do play with this, uh, let me know. I would love to see this in action. If you guys want to post pictures in the Discord or whatever, all of those links are going to be in the description. You'll be able to download this on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta. And that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.